Hello everyone, Junk Wax Investor here. Hope everyone's having a great day. I'm going to be coming at you with another Top 15 Junk Wax Era Baseball Cards on eBay last week. Criteria for sets to be included on this list is up on the screen. No big changes from last week. I added in the 93 Tops inaugural Rockies and Marlins sets because those ones are tough to find. And then I also and then I also added 1985 Leaf on the bubble because I wasn't seeing too many recent sales. And it looks like scarcity might put this on the excluded list sometime soon. All right, let's get into the list. In the 15th spot from 1992 Upper Deck, we have the Ted Williams Autograph Chase card numbered out of 2,500. This card sold in raw condition for $900. This is a nice looking card. That sale is a pretty strong sale. There was one, there was a raw condition one that sold on May 23rd for $670. And these chase cards were in 1992 Upper Deck Series 1 boxes, which can be still found on eBay for around 10 or 15 bucks. In the number 14 position from 1993 Tops, we have the Derek Jeter Rookie card, graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $950. Record for this card is $2,200 and it has a pop at $2,847. Boxes of 1993 Top Series 1 sell for around 200 to 250 bucks. It's amazing how many versions of this card there are. There's the regular 93 Tops version, there's the Tops Gold, there's the Tops Rockies inaugural, and the Tops Marlins inaugural. And I think that's all of them. Oh, nope, there's the Tops, there's the Micro one as well. Moving on, in the number 13th position from 1986 Tops, we have Nolan Ryan, graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $960. This is the third highest sale for this card, with the record being $1,202 for March. This card has been on the move lately, as it was on the top 15 list last week at $850. As a PSA 10, it has a pop of 99 and boxes of 1986 top sell for around 50 or 60 bucks. With the top black borders there, this is a tough set to pull a card from the pack gem in condition. So you, so if this is one you want for your collection, you're probably just better off buying it graded already. In the number 12 position from 1985 tops, we have a Roger Clemens rookie card graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $995. The record for this card is $1,650 and it has a pop at $354. Boxes of 85 tops have recently sold for around $350 to $400. Bucks. In the number 11 position from 1991 Upper Deck, we have Michael Jordan's baseball rookie card, the short print SP1, graded at PSA 10. This card sold for $1,025. The record for this card is $7,600 from earlier this year, and it has a high pop of $1,429. You can chase this card in boxes of the 1991 Upper Deck Low Series, which sell for around $50 to $60. Bucks. In the number 10 position from 1985 Tops, we have Hall of Famer Tom Seaver, graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $1,167. This is a record for this card with the previous high being $448 from July 2020. This card has a very low pop of only 12 as a PSA 10. And as mentioned before, boxes of 85 tops have recently sold for $350 to $400. Bucks. In the number 9 position from 1993 Pinnacle, we have another Derek Jeter rookie card, one of my favorites, rated a PSA 10. This card sold for $1,218. The record is an outlier sale of $10,000 from earlier this year, but all the other top sales have been around the $3,000 mark. The pop of this Pinnacle Rookie in a gem mint condition is $649. Boxes of 93 Pinnacles sell for around $180 to $200 bucks, and you're looking for Series 2. In the number 8 position from 1986 Leaf, we have the Fred McGriff Rookie Card graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $1,260. This is the fourth highest sale of a PSA 10 with the record being $1,702 from April. This card has a low pop of only 49 and boxes of 86 leaf have recently sold for around 60 to 80 bucks. And then number seven position from 1985 tops. We've seen this card before a couple times. It's the Eric Davis rookie card graded a PSA 10. 
This car sold for $1,275. Surprised this sells more than the Roger Clemens rookie card, but I guess it has with the low pop, as this only has a pop of 44 as a PSA 10. This is the third highest sale of this card. The record's $1,652, and that was from March. And boxes of 85 tops sell for $350 to 400 bucks. In the number six position from 1989 tops traded, we have the Dion Sanders rookie card, rated a pristine BGS 10. What a beauty. This card sold for $1,800. Subgrades were 10 for centering, edges, and surface, and a 9.5 for corners. In pristine condition, it has a pop of only 7, and there's no higher graded black label. These 89 tops traded sets sell for around 10 or 15 bucks. Try to find one that's still sealed and hasn't been looked through, even if you have to pay double that. Hello, Junk Wax Investor community. I'm excited to announce a new affiliate partnership that we have with BCW Supplies. You'll save 10% off your next retail order of sports car supplies. Use the link in the description below, and on checkout, use the code JUNKWAX10. In the number five position from 1985 Leaf, we have the Roger Clemens rookie card graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $2,023. This is a record sale for this card, with the previous high being $1,732 from April. This card has a low pop of only 46, and the most recent sale of an 85 leaf box I found was for around 400 bucks. And as mentioned in the opening, this one's on the bubble because it looks like the supply of these 85 leafs is starting to dwindle a bit. In the number four position from 1985 tops, man, what a loaded set this is. We have the Mark McGuire Team USA Rookie Card graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $2,363. The record for this card is $5,000 and it has a pop of 303. These boxes are $350 to $400 bucks, as mentioned three or four times already. But look at all the rookie cards you can pull out of these. In the number three position from 1989 Upper Deck, we have Ken Griffey Jr.'s rookie card, graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $3,000, which is over half of the record of $6,600 from earlier this year. And this card has a pop at $3,924, and boxes of 89 Upper Deck have recently sold for around the $400 mark, plus or minus. And in the number two position from 1993 Topps Gold, we have Derek Jeter's rookie card graded at PSA 10. This card sold for $4,000. The record for this card is $9,100 and it has a pop of 396. Boxes of 93 top series one sell for around 200 to 250 bucks. And the gold parallel cards are randomly inserted one per pack. In the number one position from 1992 score, we have the autographed Mickey Mantle Stan Musial and Carl Yastrzemski chase card numbered to 500. This card has a DNA grade of 8 just for the autograph. The label is a little bit confusing. It only says Mickey Mantle, so I'm wondering if they only graded the Mickey Mantle autograph or if the grade is for all three. It wouldn't make sense just to do one, so it must be all for all three. But notice that at the top it says trading card, so they didn't so they didn't grade or authenticate the card or whatever. Anyway, this card sold for $4,300. This is a really strong price. Recent sales of this card with the card graded mint have been two or three thousand dollars. If you got really lucky, these chase cards could be found in 1992 score series two boxes. And you can find those boxes for 15 or 20 bucks still on eBay if you wanna if you wanna give it a shot. Alright, that's the list for this week. The total of the top 15 junk wax era baseball cards was $27,236. This is a pretty good total and it's up a bit from the previous weeks. Let me know down below what your favorite cards were. What do you think if there was any good deals or, or any other sales that surprised you? Tomorrow's video will be the top 15 hockey sales. Like always, thanks for watching. Truly appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. In addition, hit that bell icon and get notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future great content.